Today I'd like to resaw this piece of red heart, but I do have an issue with the piece as the edge of the piece is not straight. So the first thing that I'm going to do is straighten this edge so I can lock it into my resaw jig for cutting it down the middle for the book match. I'm going to set up my resaw table, set up my bandsaw so that I can resaw this piece. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a little ripper for the, uh, for the resaw itself, but I'm going to set up the bandsaw with a sliding table and I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do that. I, I have an accessory table right here and I'm going to make it flush with the edge of this table. That's the only thing I need, need to do to keep it straight, so I'm just going to flush it out to the edge of the table. I'm going to install a clamp on each side of the table. I just want to make sure that that's nice and straight. Okay, I'm going to install a clamp on each side of the table. Right now this table is square. I'm going to put another clamp on the other side. So we're going to have a sliding table. What I have right there is a sliding table for my bandsaw. To stop my table from sliding, I'm going to use another clamp across the back here, just like that, to pinch these two clamps against the table so it won't slide. Now, to cut that straight edge that I was talking about, I'm going to use a little ripper, and I'm just going to get my camera guy to move over to the other side. The little ripper is going to move back and forth in this track. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut this edge right here and I'm going to make it straight. So, we'll clamp this in. What, am I, what I'm effectively doing here is turning my upright bandsaw into a small sawmill. lock this into place and just so I won't waste too much wood I'll show you how I'm going to line this piece up so I, I cut the least amount of material off I can I'm going to slide this table over so this is where I'm going to cut right here I'm going to get my camera guy to back up a little bit now and I'm going to move this all the way over to here so we're going to do a cleanup all the way along that cut, okay? I'm not going to waste too much material. And away we go. I'm going to lock this into place. And we're going to do our cut. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to slide this piece of material through. You should be able to watch that blade go through. And I'm going to, I'm going to get the cameraman to move over to the other side. Now it's straightening that edge right up. That's our first step. Now we're going to align the piece for the actual resaw. What I've done is positioned my piece for resawing into the little ripper. What I've done to align it is, you can just see here, I'm positioned right at the saw cut right here, nice and straight up and down on the front. The piece of wood has a slight twist, and we'll show that right at the back here. You can see the slight twist right there. You see the little gap right here? That's a slight twist. I am going to take, take a cut off of this piece and then continue on through it. I want to position this about a quarter of an inch into the piece. I want to end up with three pieces about a quarter of an inch thick. We're starting off with stock that's almost an inch. I'm going to go a little bit better than a quarter of an inch right here. And I'm going to take that cut from one end to the other. Whoops. One end to the other. I'm going to lock it into place and proceed with the cut. The thing you should be noticing about this, this is a standard bandsaw. 
standard bandsaw blade. I, ha I am showing roller guides on here, and roller guides will work with dry wood. They don't work so well with wet wood because they will pack up, and you can see the sawdust packed on that guide already a little bit there. So away we go. It's extremely hard wood. smooth, not a lot of ripples like you would get with a fence, nice and clean all the way through, just like a sawmill would, would work. Now we're going to take one more cut. I'm going to unlock my clamp, move it over, we're going to split those last two pieces, should be about right there, is the nice split mark right there, maybe a little bit better. We'll see if we can slide that right through. being a beautiful top for a jewelry box, a beautiful book match, but I want to show you still a couple issues. These are perfectly flat right here, and when I push them together, even though I push them through the sawmill, you can look right down here and you can see a little gap right here. That's the twist in that wood coming right out of the sawmill, so we're going to edge these pieces before we do the glue up. So I'm going to take them to my drum sander to do the edging. So we've got a little fence installed on the drum sander. We're going to use it as an edge sander right now. I have a fairly coarse grit on here, a 60 grit, but we're going to edge them. I'm going to count the passes. I'm going to do two, two times across on each piece. I don't want to change that beautiful divide in the middle. So two shots across with each piece. on the table just to show you what we have here.
Those pieces now are going to join nice the whole way. There's no gaps in there, nice and tight the whole way. Now we're going to put it into our brand new paraline clamp for the glue up. I'm not going to glue this up just yet, but I am going to set it up to show you how the paraline clamp is going to work. We'll move to another. What you're viewing here is the newest woodworking tool on the market right now. It's called the paraline clamping system. The name is derived from the paraline featherboard that Jessam uh, developed and we're going to use this method to secure our book match. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the two pieces through the clamp right through the jaws here. Now I have them set about 10 inches apart you can see and wherever you position them on your sidewall um, would be fine. Um, what we're going to do is line this one piece up pretty straight here and we're going to, the method of clamping is going to be the featherboard coming down on the piece and that's the pressure you're going to apply if you get a close up of right there you can see that that's the pressure we're going to apply to hold the piece straight we're just going to clamp our, our featherboard into position here we're going to go through each one we're going to position each one lock it to the table and secure it down. Now, this other piece, we're just going to slide this over. We're going to keep it as tight as we can get it here. But you can see that there's a little gap right here. Hopefully when we put this pressure down on this, you will be able to see that that's going to just push that right over tight. Now we're going to lock this into place. And we're going to work our way right down the piece. So I'm secure down I'm against the aluminum edge of the clamp and everything is perfectly flat. Now we're going to keep going here. The next clamp, I'm going to push down. You can see what's happening. So instead of having issues with a regular bar clamp, you can actually watch this piece here. I'm going to switch, switch positions so you can go over here and get. you can see this edge and it's going to go right down into place. See how that went right straight into place and we're going to lock it down. The last clamp. You can see how out of position we are right here on the ends. On the very ends of the two boards. The very ends of the two boards right here. There are two different thicknesses. Paraline clamp is going to keep one edge perfectly flat. So this side's already locked. I'm going to put this side down, put pressure down here. I'm going to lock it into place. There you are. Now if we flip this up. You should be able to see that all these edges are flat, glued down nice and flat on one side. We're not going to worry about the opposite side, even though they're, opposite, they're different thicknesses here. One side of the piece is going to end up perfectly flat. This is the brand new Paraline clamping system going to be introduced to the woodworking shows January the 6th. Outstanding product, works great. Just to show the action of the clamp, with downward pressure on the featherboard, watch the gap. It's going to close right up, nice and tight. Lock it into place. Your joint is secure.